Hello, I'm Naresh Khanna from Packaging South Asia and I am today at the Uflex Chemical Division in Sector 57 in Noida. For those who are not aware of Noida, Noida is perhaps one of the larger printing and packaging clusters in India. And I'm with Mr. Rajesh Srivastava, the Vice President of the Chemicals Division, who looks after the marketing and sales. I believe. Yeah, sure. And I'm trying to get Mr. Srivastava, who's shown us around this wonderful facility and its R&D and its lab, to tell us a little bit about the development of this facility and this plant, especially since 2014. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Naresh. Yeah, it was really a pleasure to meet you. And uh, as uh, you introduced, I'm responsible for sales and marketing. And I'm just completing my four years uh, with Uplex. It is a wonderful journey while working with such a leading manufacturers of inks and adhesives. And uh, particularly dealing with the all kind of packaging industry. If I tell you about the packaging, uh, the, the growth is phenomenal in Indian is industry. And a lot of uh, the challenges are around always in terms of uh, the, the fineness in, in printing and the quality of uh, the printings and uh, we as a company we are endeavor that to develop a finest solutions for the customers and that's the way how our journey has started today uh, we are one of the largest uh, manufacturers of inks and adhesives and the coatings also we cater to more than 20 countries and uh, we have a capacities of more than 45,000 tons of inks, adhesives and coatings, uh, what we manufacture and uh, what we sell. That is your annual capacity? That's my annualized capacity. So, Mr. Srivastava, tell us about some of the exciting new developments. Like, I believe you received a uh, patent recently and also about some of the developments as far as food migration inks, LED curable inks. We were not aware that some of these uh, things like LED curable inks are made in India. Right, right. See, you know, uh, there is a big, big demands and sustainable uh, drive challenges are there, there globally. Uplex, uh, as a, one of the most innovative uh, approached company, we thought of let's create some wonderful solutions, and uh, we invested a lot on the developing the human uh, technologies as well as the creating a finest play technological based uh, platforms. We have developed the, some of the finest, uh, like uh, the PU resin which is called a high solids and the low viscosity say. Moreover, we have also recently we have launched the LED coatings and LED ink. We are taking a pride to share to you that we are the we are the first manufacturers of LED coatings in India. And moreover, also you know that uh, the three uh, C's of the uh, the the three R's of the uh, packaging uh, reduce, recycle and reuse. We are working on very well on the reductions of the solvents and that's the reason we are working very closely on the development of the water based inks. So LED coatings, white adhesives, which saves a lot of white inks, particularly for the packaging uh, consumption point of view. At the same time, uh, LED coatings and uh, uh, recently we have done the patent uh, in the term, in the name of the epoxy ester resins. This saves a lot of uh, processing related uh, uh, difficulties where a lot of wastages of waters are being there. Yeah. So it's an environmentally sustainable Absolutely. manufacturing process yes. that is made possible by this patented uh, method of making the resin. Yes, yes. Which is a key ingredient. Which is a key ingredient, particularly for the coating industries. You know, and typically for in India, if I look at the patent, uh, the epoxy ester resin takes a lot of time to process, more than even 48 hours uh, to process. Then there's a lot of wastage of water and a lot of salts are being produced. And moreover, when the products is being produced, there is a lot of uh, odor issues are being there. The colors are different. So what we have developed, what we have patented, we have developed a process which can cut down the time significantly, which will save a lot of waters, which will give us a clear uh, uh, color, no odor. And it will also give a very good performances in terms of the fast curing, in terms of the better reactivity. And that's the reason we thought of it, it will save a lot of energy, a lot of water and a lot of process time also. Wonderful, wonderful. How do you see the growth after the pandemic? How do you see the economic recovery? Do okay. you see any uh, challenges in terms of prices of raw materials yeah. and other uh, issues? 
Sure, sure. I think I think this is the one of the uh, the hot topic and the questions uh, which uh, everybody is really under it. The pandemic has uh, changed the complete lifestyle of the consumers, sir. and what we say as a new normal. People are most of the people are still at home. They work from home. It has given to rise of the packaging demand drastically. You know that because of uh, uh, the hygiene demands, the the, the kind of uh, the liquid soaps, the kind of refills, kind of packaged foods, uh, kind of even the smaller uh, packagings demand has gone up. The pouches have gone up. Like uh, we have developed a lot of solutions even for the sanitizers also. We have also developed a lot of like like uh, you can say uh, wheat packaging, uh, cookies packaging, uh, snacks packaging, and lot of variety of packaging people are preferring. The families are at home now, so there is a lot of upwards demand surge is there with the new normal, and uh, we are the one who are ready to service the industry because there a lot of designs are being there, lot of variety of inks are being there, lot of variety of adhesives are also being there. The biggest challenge today, what we are having to get the raw materials. You know that uh, most of our dependency of uh, ink raw materials from overseas, like particularly like China, Korea, Japan, and some part of Europe, are being there. Because of the trade imbalance between India and China, there is a lot of struggle to get the materials on time. Local stocks are being consumed. The demands have gone up. People have a fear that uh, there should not be some more lockdowns, and that's the reason the people average consumptions and storage capacities has gone up. And that's the way. That's the way. The overall packaging. If you see the last uh, three months, four months, uh, there is a big demand of the packaging materials, uh, and everybody is consuming and from buying a packaged food only because of the safety reasons. So I'm sure uh, this will continue, the, uh, particularly in the next few years, because that will becoming another lifestyle for the consumers. Thank you. Thank you very much for your perspective. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shrivastava.